guys, I am at Point Cabrillo State Park and I'm about to see the light station. Actually, I can see it from here. Uh, this is one of the stops that Jeremy and Echo made as well. Uh, so it's really exciting to come down here. Um, so I had to park way, 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 way back there. Way back there. So it's about a half a mile walk down here from the parking lot. So that's a good thing for me because that means it's not very busy. There's just a couple of people down here. So, uh, and there's a ADA access down here for parking if you're concerned about that. So right up next to the lighthouse if you have ADA concerns. Yeah, look at this, this is crazy. So there's a little museum and gift shop and apparently there is a overnight rental that you can get here. So that's really cool. And there's the lighthouse. So I'm gonna get a better view, so come with me. checking in with you. I am at the Super 8 in Fort Bragg, California and uh, I was just down at the Point Cabrillo Lighthouse and uh, I ended up talking to one of the volunteers down there and her name is Laura and she was a super nice lady. She gave me a little bit of history about the lighthouse and um, how the funding and everything works down there and I ended up buying a magnet and, uh, you know, of course, she was asking me, you know, where I was from and where I was going. And I was telling her, you know, I was trying to make it down to Yosemite and that I, uh, I needed to get going before sundown so I could find a place to stay. And she actually offered to let me stay at her place. <clears throat> Sorry. Because it's just her and uh, her six cats. So it was awfully nice of her to offer to let me stay there. Uh, but I ended up uh, getting a motel and now I'm going to go in town and I'm going to get a bite to eat. So I should probably do that before they close. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. So I went to go get Mexican food and the place was closed already. So just down the street there is a Safeway. And uh, I got a couple more bagels and some more vanilla Greek yogurt for breakfasts. And uh, then for dinner tonight, I got a chopped salad and some macaroni. So I'm going to eat that uh, once I get settled in. And uh, I just wanted to say I had a really good day today. So um, I kind of uh, took every scenic route that I could. So I did uh, the Avenue of the Giants, which was a 32-mile scenic alternative to Highway 101. And that was really pretty throughout there. And uh, then I popped on to Highway 1, which uh, took me down to Fort Bragg. And on the way, it was that crazy mountain road where it's very twisty and windy. Uh, and then it popped out on the coast where these, it was just beautiful. There was a beautiful vista there, rolling hills. Uh, the air was warm and it smelled like wild mint and lavender mixed with the salty ocean air. And uh, I just had the windows down, my music cranked up, um, just going along the coast and enjoying life. It was so good. 
and uh, probably one of the better days that I've had on the trip, even though it wasn't, uh, I didn't do too much. I mean, I did a lot of hiking too. Every time I could stop and do a little walk down to the coast, I would. And then when I got down to the Point Cabrillo Lighthouse, that was another mile that I walked. So uh, definitely uh, getting some exercise, and that's great. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about tomorrow. I'm going to try to get down close to San Francisco, and I want to go to the John Muir um, Grove that they have down there that's just north of San Francisco Bay. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to try to go into Napa or not. I wouldn't mind going into Napa. Uh, but we'll just see where the road takes me, just like the whole trip so far. That's kind of been my motto, is just kind of going where the road takes me. So uh, I'm going to have my dinner, and I'm going to get settled in for the night. So I'll catch you guys later.